everyone. As you know, lately I've been uh, posting a bit more stop motion on the old channel, so I thought I would go over the equipment that I use and kind of how I set up for my stop motion. So today I'm going to be showing you my equipment and some things that I do to get ready and prepare for making some really fun creations. First and foremost, I use Stop Motion Studio for all of my stop motion. It is a free app and you can make as many movies as you want and the effects aren't great but since I use editing software it doesn't really matter that much. It's completely free and I think it works great. Now to get started I do have a stand that I use so I have to take the cover off of my phone, take off the phone case, put this aside and then I have this neat tripod and by the way, all the products that I use are linked in the description of this video, so I'm not going to say what they are because I don't know off the top of my head, but if you're interested in any of them, they're in the description. See, the phone locks in nice. It will turn to the side, and then I can use these legs to position it however I want on my table. Now that I have my tripod set up, I connect my phone to this clicker here so I can take pictures without having to touch my phone because that can shift tripod around really easily. So I just took this up and then pressing either button will take a picture and it works really well. Now the next one I use is my lights. I actually have four of these units right here. So this is the orange filter. This is what it looks like on bricks. I use this for all of my kind of desert themed movies. I think it looks pretty nice. Now to remove it, you just unscrew this section right here and this thing will drop right out like so. Now the blue filter gives everything a kind of softer glow, which looks nice for kind of nighttime scenes and maybe like ship lights or something. I haven't used it a ton, but it is a nice color. Lastly, we have the classic white, which, I mean, the white light, not much about it, but it works just fine. So now you can get a little bit of a glimpse of how I set up for my movies. I usually put one behind the camera so that there's no shadows right in front where the shot is. And then I have one off to the side to get rid of any shadows coming from that direction. Once my clicker is hooked up, I'm good to go and I can make some really fun stop motion. Now those are actually all the products that I use, including these big lights, which again I only use if I'm filming in the garage because I need to cover more space. But something else that I use that isn't something that you'd necessarily buy off of Amazon, but you might have this at home, is tack. Now this stuff is amazing for molding and giving your minifigs some better movement. Now for the cover image of my Mandalorian vs. Cobb Vanth video, I had some tack on the Mandalorian's arm. I don't know if you can see it right here so that his arm will twist to this unnatural shape. I use putty or tack a lot because it can give your character more freedom to move. It doesn't have any lasting damage because it gets off the minifigs really well. My biggest recommendations if you're going to be working with any kind of stop motion equipment is have lots of room to animate because this big table has been a great help, but when all the buckets are on it, it's really hard to animate, so make sure you have the room to do so. Lighting is really important. I did a separate tutorial on that, which I can also link in the description. This isn't really a stop motion tutorial, but I'm going to throw it in that playlist just to stay organized. I hope you found this helpful. If you're interested in any of these products, make sure to check out the links below. I use very affordable products. And again, the program that I use to film my stop motion is completely free. One thing I forgot to mention is all of what I showed you has nothing to do with the editing. All my editing is done on Vegas Pro 15 or um, Hit Film Express. So all of what I just showed you is for the raw stop motion, not the editing process. Hopefully this was helpful. This was mostly just to show you guys what I use. And if you were interested in researching or figuring out what I use, or if you're looking for equipment, there's links in the description. I find everything I use to work really well. I think the most important things are lighting and space because you need space to animate and you need lighting for your background and just your movie itself to look good. I always like trying out new things, so if you guys have any suggestions for different ways I should shoot my stop motion or different equipment I should try out, I might just take you up on that. I'm always looking for ways to improve. Leave me a comment down below, drop a like, and I will see you guys later.